back. Hello, you guys. Um, greetings, everyone. It's Patrick here. Just Patrick here. Um, yeah, Jordan is pretty busy, so let's get to the basics. Yeah, it's right to our mission. I think the last time I was. The last time I recall, I got the suit. So, we're just going item hunting now. Alright. Now, we we did actually, you know, did this part. But, you know, I accidentally deleted the file. And. Like, I, I let him know. I, I, you know, I told him that I deleted the file. Like, well, we could, we could do it. We could actually do it again. I mean, there's like two things, two choices, right? Either we both do it again, or, or um, you know, I just do it myself and just give them credit. I'm pretty much doing the second one because you know he's he's a very busy he's a very busy dude with college and all. So, anyways, Zebra. Getting all of the missiles and not getting 100% completion because everything's cryptic. Like you need a speed booster to get to get through there. I don't know how to do it yet. I'm opening the store because I might need it later. Me 
Ryan is up in the air. Yeah, I know I need a speed boost there. I thought I could get through there. I usually can, but I did one time. And since I got the lob, since I got the gravity suit, I can actually walk around in. I can walk around in the like water, lava. I can't walk in acid, so. I can walk in that acid, but not the green acid. So now, uh, I guess we're not going to Mother Brain's place yet, but we're going to get a missile tank here. So, what should you do? And then you gain the speed boat, and then you get shines, you just start and spark through those holes, that's about it. The thing is, it's kind of hard. Go ahead. You just do that, and it, yeah, the, the, hit, the collision detection can be wonky at times. But if your time is just right, you will actually do it. Trying to get it right. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't take long. There we go. No more fall. Go there. You roll through there, and that's how you get it. And that's how you get it. And boom. <laughs> you need a shine spark to get up there. Do I? So, yeah, I need a shine spark to get up there for some reason. Alright, so where am I going next? Oh yeah, I'm going back. Criteria? No, yeah. I'm going back, I'm going to the place where you know, the brain is located. Backtracking, guys. And as you can see, yeah, we're back at we're back where Mother Brain was when we found Mother Brain. As you can see, everything was all blown up. Everything was all messed up. Now, yeah. over here, what's this green liquid? Do not touch it. It is really deadly acid. What's this? Power bomb. The hell is this thing doing on here, Mother Brain Destroyer? So, so then, yeah, do not touch the acid, or else this happens. Yeah, it freaking hurts. So you see, no metro in here. It's a save room. Save room is still operational. I can't believe that. But yeah, nothing comes out. No Metroid to fight. Space pirates are still dead. Yeah. So, this is pretty much my exploration of Mother Brain's form former lair. Not to say former lair, because she goes back in Super Metroid. Shit. So then, that pretty much concludes our little exploration here. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Come on. If only, if only these abilities were manifested earlier, that would, that would be so much useful. So much more useful than that. 
Well, other than that, heading back to, I believe, Chilzodia. Yeah, we're going back to Chilzodia now. Why? Just to show off another, you know, another missile tank here. I mean, another missile tank up there. sitting here on a computer is like, you know what? Why not? Let's just finish this so I can clean up my disk base. Because my disk base is freaking crowded right now. <laughs> yeah, I have to go around. I have to go around. Oh. Yeah, I have to go around. <laughs> and trip wires. I don't really care because I am freaking set. Because, you know, I'm in a suit. Let's hit that space pirates. Wonder how come the morph ball bomb can destroy those? But, you know, it, my regular beam can't destroy those. But, the little pistol thing can destroy them. The little pistol thing that Samus carries can destroy them. Why? Oh. Anyway, save room. Unlike the ones and unlike the ones that you see earlier in the game, they were so you know. So what's here? Ooh. What's this? Super missile tank acquired. Yeah. 
yes, we are going to get a Power Bomb expansion, pretty much. See? Power Bomb expansion! Alright then. So, there you go there. And. Alright, it's time to fight the final boss of the game. Now, when I was with Jordan on this one, I didn't really tell him who the final boss was. Like, I was like, oh, you know, the final boss. Well, last part, you probably noticed that. Until in this particular part, he's like, oh, it's this guy. Okay. So, yeah, I thought there was going to be like nine parts, so I cut it down to eight because I don't really want to, you know, see. It's, I mean, I, I, I really do think going through, yeah, that's the map there. I really think that showing how I get to a certain place doesn't really, you know, fit as entertaining. So, I cut them all out and made them eight parts instead. You're welcome. And yes, Jordan will, I believe, Jordan will come back in another Let's Play if I ask him. If he's not busy. <laughs> uh, I don't know which let's play it will be, but yeah. Alright, who is the final boss of the game? What the hell? What the, what's that cranking on? What the hell? What? What? No. It's. It's. Me Metal Redly. Mecha Redly. Ridley. Mecha Ridley. There we go. Die, Ridley. Die. 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 Oh, God. Uh, die, Ridley. Die. Die. Die, Ridley. Especially you, Mecha Ridley. You're hard as hell. But yeah, Mecha Ridley. He's hard as shit in your first playthrough. Because you barely get anything, you barely know where everything's at, so. It's pretty easy if you have most of the upgrades. Like most of your weapons and all. But if you got a lot of super missiles, you can take, the, take them down really easily. Real easily. Ow. See? Like that. He's already down. Alright. Yep, yep. What? What the hell? What the hell? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Countdown sequence. Oh my god. Oh, my god, my god. oh shit. So I guess we're going down the old fashioned way. Oh, god damn it. What's this? A secret passageway? Ooh. What's well, so this? Another secret passageway? Oh wait, that's the same passageway. <laughs> this passageway I got, I got into. I got through. Alright. Huh. Okay, I can't go through there. Because it's a save room. Alright. I was not doing a wall jump, I was doing a space jump, and me, I made it look like I was doing a wall jump. But no. Alright, isn't it? Those electrical things can only be taken down by the missiles. I don't know if I demonstrated that earlier or not. But yeah. Why did I have to accidentally delete that file? Why did I have to delete that file? Oh yeah, um, just clean up. Ah, oh, god. What the hell? 
know. <laughs> but move your... Move! Move your ass! Come on! I wish I could destroy your ass. Man. Come on. Alright, run! Out of my way! Move! Ah oh, shit, it's the Taekwondo Pirates. The Taekwondo Slut. I think they're the Taekwondo Pirates. I know they're not yellow. But these things do take a beating though. These things take punishment. And I just killed them. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. Alright. Okay, jump in there. Yeah, jump in there and you'll... What the hell? Spacebar trying to get me. Uh-huh. Get... Hold on. Ah! <laughs> the freaking spacebar. And like that, everything blows up. Not everything. And I accomplished a mission. And mission accomplished, really. Now, my overall final thoughts about the game. It's a good start off for the series. It's easier than the original Metroid, even though the original Metroid is in this in the, in the cartridge slash game. But you know, I mean, the game's pretty good. It's a good starter, and it makes you, it gets you interested in the series, like, when I first played it, it got me interested in, you know, like, the Prime series and Fusion. I think Prime 1 got me into the Prime series more, though. And then there's Super Metroid, which is a pretty good game. I like it and all, it's just hard as hell. But, uh, maybe that's because I only played it. I don't know, I've beaten it once. That's not it. I've beaten this game three to four times. And I did a second playthrough in order to re-record this. Yeah, this is how much I love this game. Debug, Super Mario Club. It's just wow. But yeah. Now, when Jordan and I did this, Jordan usually Jordan said that it's, it's more user-friendly, it's a good way to start start in the series. He would play it just to get started in the series. You know, if, if he's a newbie at the game series. And he technically is a newbie. He never played Metroid game as well. He never actually played a played and beaten a Metroid game, so if he was able to, you know, if he had a choice of which Metroid game to get, he would probably get zero mission. Even though if if we can find a cartridge, <laughs> but yeah, I recommend this as as you know a starter, a starting point for the Metroid series. It, it, it is the original Metroid, but just remade, and it's easier than the original Metroid. Take my word for it; it's hard as hell. But like, I recommend it to any newbie. This is a good, good game. <laughs> a really fun game. And it really is fun to speedrun. <laughs> oh, it runs. And there goes Samus, being a badass. Until... Metroid Other M. In which she loses her badassery. Completion rate is 79%. It could have been 80, but oh, well, who cares? I really don't care though. Two minutes, two minutes though. Yeah. Anyways, well next time when we meet again in the Metroid series, it'll be Metroid Prime 1. Yes, I'm going by the chronological order. I'm Patrick, and I'm out.